So this tutorial is for those who have little or no knowledge about JavaScript and this is a first step into learning JavaScript which is to understand how the JavaScript really works. Uh, we will be writing only a few lines of code in this particular tutorial so um, if you already know how JavaScript works in nutshell uh, you can move to the next tutorial where we'll uh, start you know how the variable works and some of the basic uh, JavaScript coding. First of all JavaScript is a client-side language. What it means it runs on browser. Um, there are many languages that runs on server-side like ASP, JSP, PHP but there's only one language that runs on client side and that is JavaScript. Pretty much all the modern browsers have a JavaScript engine running in there. So let's look at the differences between client side language and a server side language. Server is your web browser. So when you when you go to a URL like for example google.com um, the request goes to a web browser somewhere located far away from you or but um, the client is your computer and your computer has a web browser and the web browser has a JavaScript language running in it so that's the difference between client and a server best practice is to write JavaScript in a separate file with .js extension so for in this example let's say you have a file called myjavascript.js and then you write your JavaScript inside that file and then save it. And in HTML, in your HTML page, you have to include that JavaScript file as a reference. So the reference usually goes in the header section. As you can see here, there are two references, one to CSS file and a second one to J, uh, my JavaScript.js file. When your server uh, is rendering the HTML, when your server is building the HTML page, um, it links that JavaScript file if it's included in the he header and then sends it to the web browser. So JavaScript doesn't run until it reaches the web browser. That's why it's called client side because it entirely runs on the client. So next we're going to look at how it really runs and when it runs, which is very important part to understand. Unlike C++ or Java, where you have to pre-compile your code, JavaScript doesn't need that. It runs during the runtime. What it means it uh, when the when the JavaScript arrives at the browser, browser uh, uh, JavaScript engine would read, uh, uh, start reading the line from first, and then will start compiling it. So it actually uh, runs line by line from the top to bottom. So, for example, we're just going to look at a simple example. I know we haven't started actually uh, digging into the the syntax. Of the of JavaScript, but we're just gonna take a simple example. Um, so he, here in this example, the first line is basically defining a variable called my message and assigning it a value uh, as a string, hello world. And then the second line, um, alerting the message. Alerting means uh, when you run it, it actually pops a tiny window on the browser. Uh, with the message hello world in it in it so first it would read the it would read the value and then it when it comes to the second line it already knows that what's the value of the, my message so it can print it now let's if you, let's say if you reverse this code and if you if you try to alert the message first and then assign it a value it would get confused because it in the first line it doesn't know at this point it doesn't know what is the value of my messages 
Uh, so at that point, map master div is not even defined and it's not assigning value. So uh, it would give an error. So that's that's how JavaScript runs. It runs line by line. Okay, now let's uh, try that code out here in uh, JS Fiddle. So if you go to the jsfiddle.net, again, this is a code playground where you can, here you write your HTML, here you write your CSS, here you write your JavaScript, and uh, you will see your result here. So for example, what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna start embedding JavaScript in this box here. Um, you can do it too. It's very easy and um, uh, fun. So let's uh, let's start write our first line called there, which is variable my message equal to hello hello world. Then I'm going to alert this message. Now, if I just click here, it pops out this message, hello world here, okay? Uh, it works perfectly fine. So first it, it, first line, it goes from top to bottom here. Uh, it assigns a variable to this message and then it alerts it. Now let's just reverse this code. I'm going to cut this here and then put the alert first. Now, when it runs this, this line, it doesn't know what my message is because it hasn't reached to this line where, where it's defined. So let's see what happens. So if I run this one again, as you can see, it's giving the message called undefined. It means it's not, this my message is not defined yet. So that's how JavaScript runs in nutshell.